Hello everyone, my name is Nicole Stradom and I am from All Eyes on You Makeup Artistry. By now you all know I only use Charlotte Beauty's um, skincare range as well as their makeup range. So today I started off by completing my skincare routine and I already did my eyes and my eyebrows. So today I actually wanted to share with you how to apply your foundation and how to prime your skin and the coverage it gives you. So I have a good skin most of the time, but every third or fourth month, I do get hormonal breakouts. I stick to my skincare routine and now my breakouts are gone, but I still have the red marks. So I'm going to show you how to cover it. And as I stick to my skincare routine, just like a diet, it will also lighten my marks and even out the skin tone. I remember just before I started using my Charlotte Beauty skincare range a few months back, I also had um, the hormonal breakouts and my skincare routine sorted it all out. So no, if you have hormonal breakouts, the skincare range doesn't prevent your hormonal breakouts from coming back, but the breakouts that are there, it does sort it out. Or if you have any other kind of breakout, it will sort it out as well. And it's for all skin types. So I'm gonna start off by priming my face with my Photoshop um, SPF 50 primer. So it is SPF 50, so it protects your um, skin from the sun. And I use this as a thick mask on the areas where I get my hormonal breakouts. So I always get my hormonal breakouts on both sides of my cheeks, but not the whole cheek, just literally like this part and this part, either <laughs> both sides. So I didn't want to make a recording or show anyone, but then I decided, you know what? We all get breakouts. Um, there's just the way you cover it and the way you take care of it. And I cover it and take care of it by using my Shiloh Beauty products. Okay, so now the SPF 50 primer, it, like I said, it has SPF 50 in it, so it protects your um, skin from the harsh sun. It is for any skin type. There are added skincare benefits in it as well. It fills in the fine lines and the pores, as well as the wrinkles. And then it gives you that matte, smooth surface to apply your makeup, your foundation. And it also helps it to last longer too. So you can even use it as a thick mask and leave it on for the night. And if you have any breakouts and it works like amazingly. Okay, so now I am going to take my corrector, which is color Latte. So now I am going to apply this color Latte all over these red marks that I have. The corrector helps to neutralize any imperfections on your skin that you would like to have more coverage on. So I will just put it on this these marks and under my eyes because I'm sleep deprived. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, I'm not really kidding, but I have a, an almost two year old son. So sometimes I do have sleepless nights. <laughs> so the eyes are a little bit darker than, than usual at times. <laughs> so I, I like to add some corrector under the eyes as well. Okay, so I'm happy with this. This is the spots that I want to cover. And now I'm going to use my foundation, which is color ivory, and I'm going to apply it all over the face. So even over the corrector, um, I'm going to apply it literally everywhere. Okay. So now apply, apply, apply everywhere. There we go. You see, I literally applied all over. So Charlotte Beauty's foundation is for all skin types, which is amazing. 
Um, I have a combination skin between oily and um, dry, and I also have a sensitive skin and acne prone skin. So what I love about this foundation is that it accommodates each and every person's skin needs and what kind of skin they have, what type. So I almost have all, all of the skin types all in one. So <laughs> this works wonders, it lasts up to 24 hours. It is um, hypoallergenic, non-comedogenic, cruelty-free. It's up to five times more coverage than your regular foundation. It's waterproof. It's absolutely amazing. So I just want to grab my sponge. Okay, so now I'm going to start blending with my beauty blender. You can also use a foundation brush. I actually prefer using a foundation brush. I just decided that I'll show you guys that you can use anything to blend your foundation in and both ways with the brush or with the beauty blender both will give you flaw a flawless finish. So I just do the tapping motion to blend everything. There we go. Mm -hmm. Okay. I go quite close. That This is something nice about a beauty blender. You can go quite close underneath the eyes. I haven't um, done my bottom lashes and I also did not do my eyeshadow at the bottom. Um, I first wanted to do my foundation, blending my corrector and my foundation before I do the bottom part because I didn't want to smudge it or smear it or anything like that. Um, I've noticed that your eyeshadow looks much cleaner and flawless on the sides when you first do the eyes and then your foundation. Um, however, both ways work. I used to first do my face and then only my eyes, but you can mess like here because sometimes eyeshadow does dust and fall off and then you must clean it and all of that. I like to blend it in down the neck as well. So I just think the new way for me to do my face is I'm going to apply my eyes first. I just feel that I get a more flawless finish here on the side or clean finish if I do it first and then my foundation. It also helps to clean up any errors you've made <laughs> because we all make some errors sometimes and then it's easy to blend it out. Okay, I've blended it in now and usually I use my Endless Possibility um, palette to do my contouring but I'm going to use different shades of foundation. Um, your concealers and your um, contouring sticks and all of those um, kind of things, they are all actually different shades of foundation. It's just different shades to do the contouring. So I'm going to use Color Fair for under the eyes. You don't have to do the contouring if you don't want to, but I like to do it. So I'm going to put a little bit under my eyes like, like that. Just a little bit, so I'll blend that out. And then on the other eyes, under the other eyes, well, let me just get a little bit out here. There we go. Okay, like that. Okay. Um, on the forehead, tip of the nose, on the chin, 
And then I'm going to put here, I'm going to show you why I'm, I'm putting it there and over here exactly the same side. Now I'm going to go in with my darker color, which is color um, cocoa that I use for the cheekbones, the hairline and the nose. Let me just take a little bit of what's on you and just like that all over the nose. Then I'm going to use the colour cocoa by my hairline. There we go. From the top of my ear to the corner of my mouth. Just take a little bit here. And just take a little bit there we go and then on the other side ooh, <laughs> excuse me then on the other side as well and then the nose i'm just making a straight line from the bottom to the top or from the top to the bottom like this and then i'm going to do the jawline so you see where that light color is I did it in between the jawline, the jawline line, contouring line, and then my cheeks, just to blend it all out nicely. There we go. Now I'm going to take my beauty blender again, and I'm going to blend in the lighter color first, and then the darker color on the other side so that I don't mix it so i'm going to do the forehead blend it in nicely under the eyes you can do the tapping motion i'm going to do the middle of the nose like that the chin and then these center parts now i'm going to turn the beauty blender and i'm going to blend in the darker colors with a like a tapping smearing motion <laughs> there you go like that and the nose there we go and then the cheeks wow <laughs> and the other one i blended in downwards instead of upwards because i'm still going to put blush there and i want a lifted look and then the jawline as well there we go now all of that is blended in and now i'm going to do the powder so i like to set under the eyes quite a lot with a lot more powder than the rest of my face purely because it helps to seal it properly and I have fine lines under the eyes so it also helps the eyes not to make that crease um, wrinkly look so setting your makeup helps to make it last longer just puts everything into place so I have quite a lot now on under the eyes I'm just going to leave it there for now and then take my powder brush and just dip it in and tap it all over my face there we go just going to take a little bit more for the neck if you want a more matte look, you can do what you, um, I did under the eyes with the powder puff all over your face and then afterwards just brush it down with a little bit of powder on the brush just to blend it all out, which I'm going to do now with the eyes. So you can see if you wanted a more matte look, then you can do that. 
So I'm just putting powder or tapping my powder brush in the powder and then tapping it all over my face. Now I'm going to take a little bit of powder, just a little bit. I'm just going to brush away it under my eyes. See? And that you can do now like with your whole face if you wanted a more matte look. Whoa! Where is my acne marks? I don't know. <laughs> it's gone. All right, which is awesome. Now what I am going to do is I'm going to do the blush now. Yes, let me do the blush and then I will do under the eyes in a second. Okay, so I'm going to put on blush. This is blush color number four. And I'm going to do the above the contouring line on the apples mm -hmm. to give the face more color. So I have another mirror that you can see. <laughs> so I just like to look. Take the smaller um, mirror. So to do, oops, to do my eyes, or when I did my eyes, I used my Endless Possibilities palette to create this look. So I used the black color, black sand. I used Choco Feast brown. And I also used a rose gold pigment that is available from Perfect Shades Cosmetics as well. There we go. And now I want to apply a little bit more of the highlighter. So now I'm going to do it here above the um, blush. And this is from my Charlotte Beauty Highlighting Palette and I'm using the color um, Kimi Boo. Just gives you that nice glow. I don't know why I'm forgetting everything. I'm going to apply the Choco Feast, the brown color, under my eyes. I'm going to take my fluffy eyeshadow brush and do it under the eyes. There we go, on both sides. I absolutely love this palette because it has so many different colors and you can do literally, wow, so many different looks with this one palette. So it's a great investment that you can do so many different kind of looks. And it's also versatile. I mean, before I usually did my contouring, with the Endless Possibilities palette too. So I use Choco Feast for the cheeks, the jawline, the hairline, the sandy beach color for the lighter color. And you can even use some of these colors as blush. You can do your eyeshadow. You can even do your eyebrows with it if you prefer doing your um, eyebrows with powder. I do my eyebrows with powder, um, the eyebrow tattoo, or even the pencil. So I do, my eyebrows with all three um it just depends how i feel like on the day but i must say you lately i only use the eyebrow tattoo um they are amazing it comes in a light brown a dark brown and a black and you can even use the black as liquid eyeliner for the top which is awesome okay that's done now i'm going to take my mascara for the bottom lashes. There we go. Never forget about your bottom lashes. They look non-existent, but when you put some mascara, a few layers of mascara on them, they are very much visible. And I will show you in a moment. See? You can see it. Yeah, they're like non-existent. So I love mascara, you guys know. Um, I used to apply so much mascara, especially at, uh, with my um, top lashes, but now I 
put on false lashes every day because they are like natural ones for every day then there are more dramatic ones and i love them all so today i have a more um natural one um in my previous look i had a quite a bold one but i love them all and they are so fun to use um if your eyelashes are done if you do it with mascara or with um the eyelashes with both your eyes just look complete so this is the Focula mascara mascara <laughs> mascara volume and length okay so all of these products that i use on my face are all available by Shiloh Beauty from Perfect Shades Cosmetics, which is the best. And I think you all know by now, I'm a sucker for red lips. All shades of red, bring them to me. I love them. <laughs> I really love red lipstick and I like any shade. This one is by far my favorite. Also from Perfect Shades Cosmetics. It's like matte, it's a matte one but it doesn't dry out on your lips if you do this it's still smooth and when you maybe take a, a sip of something yes you can see a little bit of red lipstick on your cup or on your glass but then when you look into the mirror it doesn't even look like anything came off long lasting smooth on the lips but yet matte but it doesn't dry out your lips love it and the color is amazing too this is called Parfait Kiss. Love this one. And even the red is beautiful. I mean, hello. <laughs> so yes, it's smooth. Because usually matte like dries out the lips as it gets really dry. But this one doesn't. It's smooth, long lasting, super pigmented. Love it. I love red lips. Like other colors too, but I think red is by far my favorite. I always do that because then it gets the lipstick <laughs> in the corners as well. Yay! <laughs> okay, so now I'm gonna take the fixing spray and I'm gonna spray it all over my face. I'm keeping it uh, like an arm length away so that the drops just fall onto the face and it smells so good, it sets your makeup. And now I'm done. So now you can add your earrings or if you wanted to put something nice in your hair or curl your hair or um, whatever. So this is the finished look. was so nice to see you all again and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye! Mm -hmm.